Hi. So this one I've made one other time before. Um, everybody in my house was too afraid to drink it because they thought I was going to give them botulism, but I didn't die. So, and I drank all of them and it was really good. We're going to make kombucha. So I've got a whole bunch of black tea. You can use green tea if you would like. This is just what I happen to have. And then Coach Claire gave me all of these. Now, these are um, Scobies. I think they should be called Scoobies. That would be better. And they um, are squishy. And honestly, it looks like a placenta. Any of you ever seen a placenta? I have. Twice. My own. It was great. It looked like this and squishy. I did not touch that though, but I imagine this is what it would feel like. It's kind of gross, but that's what we need to make the kombucha. So we put that in there. I'm going to put a little bit of Claire's, whatever that is. Oh, is there another one in there? Did I get, oh, look, this is like a baby one. Oh, it feels like jellyfish or placenta. Putting that in there and I'm, it's got to just like rest for like a week, a week. So this is just going to sit in my corner, my kitchen for a week. So see you in a few days. This has been resting for a week, right? Just brewing and doing its things and it, it has a thing on top. I don't know. Why Why did it have a thing on top of it? Oh my God, Claire. It's like, there's like a skin on top. Is that a kombucha baby thing? Oh, I'm going to have to call her about that. Um, there's like this like thing in between there. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. It's got all of these things in it. It has those guys in there. I think now... I've got to call Claire just a second. I'm having a kombucha emergency. <laughs> What's up? Okay, so I took the tea bags, like I lifted them out, and there was like a film on top. Is that another Scoby? Scooby? Scooby? Um, yeah, yeah, that's another Scoby. Oh, I made one? Um, it. I don't know. I get a new one like... Like once a month or something, and yeah, it just starts as like a thin layer, and then um, it'll get thicker, and it'll it'll be the like the size of the jar, like the width of the jar. So, so I um, so I put that new one in a in its own jar with some. Okay. With, should I do that with some of the tea that I brewed? Yeah, just um, put a little bit of the old tea in, and then some new tea. Okay. Because it needs like the, the bacteria to help kickstart it. Okay. And then what do I do with the, with the scobies, the, the big ones? Now, do those go in with, with the, the fruit? Um, no, what, after you do the first week of brewing, you take the scoby out and then, um, you don't want to put like flavor in with a scoby. Okay. Got it. Yeah, only tea goes with the scoby, and then you take it out, and you can add whatever you want. Okay, we're going to do an apple cinnamon one. Oh. Doesn't that sound fun? I have not done apple. I have never, but, you know, I have apples from the backyard, so i like, okay. I, I can't believe I grew my own scoby. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of like a placenta again. <laughs> Doesn't it? I mean, am I not... Am I, <laughs> It does, yes, it right? Does. Okay, see, I'm also recording this for the cooking show, our conversation. Okay, so I'm doing, oh. So then the other scobies I just put in a jar. Well, I'm yeah, going to I, have to make some. So yeah, I have like a hotel, like a scoby hotel basically with all the extras that I gave away. So now I'm I'm just down to like one jar that has three scobies left. Oh my God, because that uh, one you gave me is literally gigantic. Yeah. It's very scary and very thick. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm like a proud mother of my own SCOBY. I did a, I did a peach strawberry one like a week ago that's probably ready today or tomorrow. <gasps> 
So how long do I brew this fruit for now? I would say at least three days, maybe five. Um, the longer you let it go, the more like vinegary it gets. So some people like really vinegary kombucha and some people don't. So it's just up to you. I love it. Thank you, Claire. You're Woman welcome. who knows everything in the whole world. I love it. Okay, have, have a great day, Claire. Okay. Okay, bye. bye. She seriously knows so much about like everything. Okay, so I have this in my giant pickle jar. I've got apples from the backyard. I Look at that cinnamon stick. And, um, oh, there it goes. See you in three to five days. But now we have to save these old ones. She said it's a SCOBY hotel. Um, okay, wait, um, I felt bad pouring that out. Okay, but this thing is so, look at how giant that is. This is to make, look at it, jellyfish, um, to make an, another batch. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start brewing another batch too. It has been four days, four days. Okay, ooh, there's bubbles on top and it smells vinegary. Remember, Claire said that, so nice. She said that the longer that it sits, the more vinegary it gets. Mm. Let's see, oh, very apple. Okay. I taste cinnamon. I definitely taste apple and it tastes like kombucha. I made kombucha for that. I'm very proud. So Claire, thank you for one. My, that's the one that I made. My SCOBY that you gave me. Grew these apples, figured it out. This is really terrific. I love the bubbles. Uh, so now I'm going to, um, I think I'm put it in the fridge and let it just like do that for a little bit and then take the apples out and just let this it's in the fridge. It's a good one. Kombucha. Do you need a SCOBY? I have some in my hotel. Bye.